Navigating the financial world is akin to trekking through a mysterious forest, where numerous pitfalls aim to destroy not you, but your financial stability. Among these dangers lurk hidden fees, brokers, market fluctuations, taxes, and overconfidence. In Money, Master the Game, Tony Robbins delves into the minds of some of the most seasoned investors of our era. Distilling their wisdom into one comprehensive guide, Robbins staunchly believes that success in any field hinges on having the right mentors. Who better to navigate you through the financial wilderness than giants like Carl Icahn, Paul Tudor Jones, Kyle Bass, and not forgetting, Ray Dalio. All these experts shared their insights with Robbins in preparation for this book. Now, let's unpack the strategies Robbins outlines, having absorbed knowledge from these titans. First insight, ascending the financial summit. Visualize your financial expedition as an ascent up a formidable mountain. Just like mountaineering, wealth accumulation involves distinct stages. The accumulation phase, where you're saving and investing to build a substantial financial base, and the decumulation phase, where you begin to draw on those funds. Imagine financial freedom as a mountain peak and your journey consisting of various base camps, each representing different levels of financial stability. For example, you reach financial security when your investments can cover basic living expenses like food, shelter, and utilities. Financial independence is achieved when your investment income can sustain your current lifestyle without additional work. Finally, you attain absolute financial freedom when you can afford your dream lifestyle purely through investment income. Consider calculating the specific amount you'll need to attain, say, financial independence. Knowledge is power. When you have a tangible figure in mind, your brain will creatively find ways to achieve it, as suggested by Napoleon Hill in Think and Grow Rich. Calculate your annual expenses, monthly expenses times 12, then multiply that by 20 to estimate the investment needed to sustain your current lifestyle. But remember, reaching this figure isn't serendipitous. As the saying goes, the person at the summit of the mountain didn't land there by chance. Second insight accelerating your ascent your financial expedition commences the moment you decide not to be a mere consumer but also an investor here's how you can hasten your journey upward increase savings it's an age-old advice but quintessential achieving financial freedom means paying yourself first remember it's not about your income it's about how much you retain robbins recommends saving invisibly essentially squirrel away a portion of any income increase before you get used to the extra cash. Boost Earnings There's a ceiling on how much you can save, but your earning potential is boundless. The key to earning more is providing unparalleled value. Compensation isn't for the hours but the value you bring. Consider, for instance, a McDonald's employee in Sweden making roughly $12 per hour, whereas someone like Stefan Pearson rakes in an estimated $240,000 per hour just from his H&M dividends. Minimize fees and taxes. Think of these as unnecessary baggage slowing your climb. Small percentages eat away your money over time. Opt for passively managed investment avenues to cut fees and utilize tax-efficient strategies like Roth IRAs and tax loss harvesting to keep taxes at bay. Improve returns. Robin's discussions with seasoned investors revealed four key principles. Avoid losses, aim for sizable gains with minimal risks, diversify your portfolio, and commit to continual learning. For detailed insights, consider resources like the summary of common stocks and uncommon profits. Alter your lifestyle. Sometimes, the monumental decision of where to reside can have a more significant impact on your finances than frugal habits. Tax rates between states, or even countries, can differ drastically. Consider how relocating to a country like the Philippines, where living costs are about 60% lower than in the US, could impact your finances. Third insight, the all-weather investment strategy. Complexity often hinders action, and in the investment world, action beats knowledge. The ideal investment portfolio is one that's easy to comprehend and manage. Ray Dalio's all-season strategy fits this criterion perfectly, safeguarding against varying economic seasons and, crucially, against your own potential for panic. Robin's research team found that from 1984 to 2013, this approach yielded a 9.72% annual return, 
profiting in 86% of those years. The maximum drawdown, even during the 2008 crisis, was 3.93%, a loss most investors could weather. The strategy operates on the premise that the economy can be in one of four states, each affecting certain assets positively or negatively. Since predicting market movements is nearly impossible, Dalio proposes equal risk distribution across all economic conditions. His suggested allocation is 40% in long-term U.S. bonds, 30% in stocks, 15% in intermediate U.S. bonds, 7.5% in gold, and 7.5% in commodities. This balanced approach provides a high probability of a steady climb toward financial freedom. Fourth insight. Income matters most consider an individual like All in Anthony, who, upon nearing retirement, finds that market downturns have significantly eroded his investment value. This scenario underscores a critical realization. During retirement, consistent income is more crucial than the total asset value. Robin suggests considering annuities as a strategy for guaranteed steady income throughout retirement, despite the downsides like the reliability being only as strong as the insuring company, or potentially leaving unclaimed money to the insurer if you die early. Fifth insight. The true value of money in achieving happiness while money itself doesn't buy happiness, how you use it does. According to Happy Money, the science of smarter spending, there are three spending principles that enhance well-being. 1. Invest in experiences. Opt for travel and skill acquisition over accumulating possessions. 2. Buy time. Use money to transform dreaded tasks into opportunities for pursuing passions. 3. Give back. Donating not only increases happiness but fosters a sense of abundance, potentially leading to personal financial growth. Remember, it's not about how much you spend but how you spend it. In summary, start your journey toward financial freedom by setting clear targets. Hasten your ascent with strategies like prudent saving, earning more, and wise investing. Employ the all-seasons portfolio for a smoother climb, and consider annuities for a steady descent. Lastly, spend intelligently to maximize happiness. Here's to your financial expedition. Cheers! Don't forget to subscribe for more book insights. Until next time, here's to your financial well-being.